Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a form that will do limits um, using the add-on form ranger. So to begin we're going to start a new Google form. You can do that easily by going to forms.new. I'm going to call this form ranger example. So uh, by default you're going to use this template in a minute. And this template has timestamp, name, choice one, two, three. So those would be your questions. So for this, I do want to go into settings. And I'll do collect email addresses. That'll take the field of like the name, basically. If you don't have something that's going to be that first one, you're going to have to adjust something in the spreadsheet. I'll talk that through in a minute. So I'm going to pretend I'm doing um, collecting some uh, foods for a party. So you select your food item. Add a question, select your uh, paper good. And let's, let's just, I like drop down. You can leave it as multiple choice. And it's up to you if you want these to be required or not. So once you're here, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're not going to actually add the choices. You're going to go into responses and generate your spreadsheet. There are other ways to do this. This is the way I just found was the easiest. So you can see in your responses, you've got Timestamp, email, choice one, choice two, which matches their template. Timestamp, name, choice one, choice two, choice three. So this is where we have to grab the data from these sheets. So I find it easier to just select all, copy it, and then to make a new sheet, we'll click the plus, and then right click paste. And this one, just for me, so I know it, this is gonna be the food choice item. So let's go back to choice two. This is like question two. Again, copy it, new tab, paste it in, and this will be the paper good column. This is where the magic happens. In here, in column A is where you put your choices. And then, since I only have four choices, I'm going to get rid of the rest of these. And this is where you set your capacity. This part you won't edit. You can see it's actually using a formula. It's saying if the numbers on here is, if one of the, if this number is greater than this number, then this choice disappears. This is the end number you're entering. This is doing some uh, math. This is the most important one. So it's doing a count on the form responses tab and it's looking at column C. So you want to go back to here and make sure C is these choices. Same with paper goods. So this one we're gonna do plates, napkins, cups, cutlery. Delete any other ones you don't need. Let's do just five. And then same thing here. You can see for registered, this is looking at form response one sheet, and then it's looking at column D. So we want D to be the paper goods. If it's not, then you need to adjust this letter. Or you can see on here, like choice three has this one as E, choice four is F, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So now that you're there, we're going to go back to the form and we're going to run the form ranger add-on in our spreadsheet. So we need to populate the questions from the spreadsheet. So we're going to do populate from range. We're going to select, we're going to do, sorry, new range. And it's going to come from this spreadsheet and you can see which one it is because it's the most recent one this is the most important one um, we want to pick it from the food column and then we don't want to pick no i'm sorry we do want to pick the form ranger session one titles not the other one because this is what's doing that counting so these will disappear if it goes away and then next and then just for um, just in case I need to go back, I'll call this one food again, save and populate question. So now we're going to repeat this process for this question. If you had a question that doesn't have a range in the spreadsheet, 
then that's okay too. So again, we're going to do a new range, same spreadsheet. I like to keep it all in one spreadsheet just to keep make it easier. In theory, I guess these could come. No, I don't think they can. I think they do have to come in one spreadsheet. So anyway, this one's coming from paper goods. Column headers going to be form ranger session two titles, which is click question two. Next, I'll give it the name paper, save and populate. So one other thing I found just to make sure it works the best, uh, I like to auto repopulate questions on every form submit. And I don't think we want to do it every hour. I think I just do it on every form submit. So we do update question list. And you can see now all my options are in here. And what they're really coming from is the spreadsheet, which is going to do some counts. So now if I preview this, I can minimize this out. You can see there's the food items and there's the paper goods. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, the biggest tip I found was if you were to run out of options and like, let's say we did five reach, let's say you knew you had more than 20 people signing up, you would wanna actually add an option to your spreadsheet. Um, go back to this one and had an option before I know I deleted the formulas that says there are no more options available because if not, the last one that's left will stay and it will actually exceed capacity. So hopefully that tutorial helped.